Michaela Lamance here, your traveling volcanologist. And her trusty assistant, Kayla Ponce. We have arrived at our intended destination, the Living Mountain, also known as a volcano. Or aka Mount Mac. We will be taking a tour, stressing the important features of this magnificent geological wonder. Careful, it's a rather hot spot. Well, that's all. Shh, shh. Wait, where are you guys? Shh. Guys, hello? We'll, well see you we'll see at the diagram. diagram. A volcano is a land or underwater feature that forms when magma reaches the surface of Earth. Volcanoes occur mostly along divergent and convergent plate boundaries and at hot spots. When magma erupts from the central, circular or oval-shaped opening of a volcano, called a vent, a cone-shaped land form develops. When an oceanic plate subducts beneath a continental plate, a volcanic arc is formed. When two oceanic plates move toward each other, an island arc is formed. When magma escapes from narrow and elongated cracks in Earth's crust something called a fissure eruptions occurs. Basaltic lava has low silica, is thin and runny and flows freely. Granitic lava have high silica, is thick and runny and flows slowly. A shield volcano is a huge, gently sloping volcanic landform that is mainly composed of basaltic lava, a cinder cone volcano is mainly composed of solid fragments, a composite volcano is mainly composed of alternating layers of lava and tephra. Well, that's all thanks for listening. See ya! Hello, this is Michaela Lamance. Here's my volcano diagram. This is a magma chamber. It holds magma. Volcanoes also have sills and dikes. It also has a magma pipe. When it explodes, you can see lava bombs, lava flow, pyroclastic flow, volcanic ash, and tephra. Well, that's all for now. Thanks. Bye.